Hello, it's Commander Bricar, 198 or Battlefield, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Legacy Collection, the Battle at the Scarlack Ultimate Battle Pack. Um, this battle pack comes with uh, five figures. It's exclusive to Target, and it comes with a brand new Desert Skiff, Jabba's Desert Skiff. It also comes with a um, Scarlack, and it has a base. It has two different bases, actually. And Scarlet itself actually has a tentacle, which you can move to grab figures. Um, right now, the figures it comes with is Han Solo, uh, Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, Lando, and one of the Skiff guards. I forgot his name. Um, first off, the all the figures are basically repaints from all the other figures. Um, they're very limited on, on articulation. Um, here's the... Anakin Skywalker. I'm not sure what line he's from. I believe it's Power of the Force 2, maybe. He has swivel head, um, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel hands. Also, he comes with his green lightsaber. And he has swivel hips, swivel waist, and he has hinged knees, and that's it. And the paint job on these figures is not as, that, not as good, but it's still it's an okay battle pack. I guess. Um, there you see Han Solo it comes with his blaster, which you can see right there. And it comes with this, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like an axe, kind of. Um, he has ball jointed head, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel hands, swivel waist, and swivel boots. Wait, well, no, not boots. And that's it for him. Page job on him is actually quite good. I like it. I think this is from the Saga 2 line. It's probably a repaint from the Power of the Force 2, like most of these figures in here. Boba Fett, he comes with his blaster, of course, and he's got he's the version where you push down on his rocket on the backpack and his arms go up. Can't really get it to do it though. Let's see, there we go. It doesn't really do too much, not really. As you can see, he has Swivel head, swivel shoulders, um, swivel right elbow, um, swivel hips, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed feet. And the scarf on him is rubber, not cloth. That's kind of a disappointment. And also, the rangefinder doesn't move. They should have put a better version of him in the battle pack. Then Lando, he's got, he's in his um, disguise, as you can see. Uh, also, he comes with a little harpoon thing. I'm not sure what it's called. He has a removable helmet as well. It's kind of hard to get it off. He has ball jointed head, uh, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel forearms, swivel waist, and swivel hips, and that's it for him. He's an okay figure. I don't like him, but you can't really see in this video, but his eyes are really messed up. Kind of looks like he's scolding. His eyebrows really makes him look like he's angry. So that's why I prefer to have him on with his helmet on. So let's see. Um, Desert Skiff Guard. Um, he has his like little harpoon thing. I'm not gonna remove him right now because it took me forever to get him to go in that pose. He has swivel head, swivel shoulders, swivel waist, and swivel hips. And that's pretty bad for articulation, but the figure. It's not really that well either, as you can see. He's got green hair, and that doesn't make him look good. Neither, nor does his um, green shoes there. Um, the scar, the desert skiff is brand new. Um, it has two levers. One lever is to control the landing gear, which has three in the bottom, and the other um, lever is for the um, the plank, which you can uh, put a figure on there and the farther it goes out it'll drop off the figure and also the sides these little panels they'll go up and down that's very cool and also on the back the back fins will go they'll swivel back and forth like it's turning that's also very cool the scarlock has a um, hard base right here um, it's kinda like a plasterish type but it's not really plaster just really hard plaster I mean, um, plastic. Um, the Scarlack, it's removable from the space, and as you can see, 
try to get in there. See, it's got teeth and some other tentacles on there. The tentacle is re can be wrapped around the main one, and also his mouth can be opened and closed to put a figure inside there or whatever you want to do with it. Also, it comes with this other plasticky type base, but I would prefer that you do not use this base. As you can see here, it's a big old plastic, really thin stuff. It can really cut you easy, so be careful if you get this valve back. Um, I think it's just kind of like an add-on for the, the theme of it. It's not really worth it for that. It's just a skinny piece of plastic that can break really easy. Overall, this is a good battle pack. I like it. Uh, the price for which I paid for it was seventy. I think it's seventy-two ninety-nine. That's pretty expensive for this battle pack. For the lack of all the figures, it should have more. Um, but now they're on clearance. I saw them on clearance at Target for forty-four and something because it's the after Christmas sale. So you should hurry up and get this while it's a good deal for this. And that is it.